Hey guys, welcome back to Let It Roll. Andy Castiglione had messaged me on Facebook saying that he tried a uh, iron cross method that he called $78 from the don't. And it really intrigued me because the way I throw, it seems, I, I love the iron cross first of all. So I was like, the way I throw, man, it seems like that would work for me. So I'm gonna give it a shot. $78 from the don't iron cross from Andy Castiglione. Let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, let's take a quick look at this setup here. Okay, there's $78 out here on the playing field. We've got two units on the five, two units on the six, two units on the eight. We've got $39 on the don't pass and $5 on the field. So let's kind of break it down a little bit. If any of the three place bet numbers hit, we're gonna win 14 and lose five. So that'll be a profit of $9 every single hit. Now, if the seven hits, we're gonna win $39. And up here, we've got $34, $39. So that covers the uh, all of the bets that are up here. So that zeroes us out. The only issue we would find here with this is let's say that the point was uh, four. Okay, um, if the four hits, then we lose the 39. And fortunately, we would win five. Okay, if the point was either of these, we would win $14. Okay, we would lose the five, so we would win nine and lose 39, so we would lose 30. So that's kind of how this setup looks. So let's go ahead and see how it plays out. I'm going to go ahead and start with a bankroll of $200 and see where I can get with that. So let's get going. Okay, guys, so here we go. Since I had the stuff already out, I'm going to just leave it out. Of course, those are off on the come out roll. So let's get started. Okay, first roll, come out roll. Eight, okay, so the point is eight. I guess that's the other thing that you gotta watch for too on this I didn't talk about is playing the don't pass. On the come out roll, you'll lose the $39 if uh, the seven or the 11 hits. So fortunately, I didn't uh, throw a seven or 11. I guess you could hop, hop the sevens if you wanted. So, all right, so let's see what this does for me. We'll play for about 15 minutes or until I lose the $200, whichever comes first. Seven. Wow, you saw the spinning like a top. All right, so that didn't hurt me too much here because I win 39 and I lose this 39 here. So it basically zeroes out. Okay, so I'm just going to put that back. Puck is off. And we're going to do it again. So this is the scary roll right here. Yo, 11 is pretty scary. Okay, so I lose the $39 there. Okay, let me put another 39 out. Okay, come out roll. Five is the point. Okay, so here we go. Back in action. Let's go. Let's hit some numbers. Six. All right. So that's our first $9 win. We win 14 and lose five, which is a profit of nine. I'm not going to mess with those chips up there. I'm just going to take them from here. So I'm going to take $9 winnings. That way it speeds it up. I get more rolls in and we can see how it works out. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, okay, these all pay $14 because there's two units on it. This right here, since I threw a six, lost five. So that's where I got the profit of nine because I won 14, lost five, which equals nine. For any of you that may be new to craps so you'd understand what... What's going on? Okay, box cars, there we go. That's what helps with the field right there because that pays in some casinos, that'll pay triple. But right here on mine, it pays double. 
So we'll go with it here. Okay. Six, okay, so that is a $14 win minus a $5 loss, which gives us a profit of $9. I'm gonna get $10 and put $1 back. All right, next roll. Five, that's the point, okay, so the point was hit. All right, this is the other place that it kind of hurts a little bit. So we lose $39 here, okay? But we win 14. So I'm going to go ahead and put this 39 loss over here and then pay 15 and give one to the casino. And then now I need to put my $39 back out here. So there's 30, 35, 39. Okay, now we are ready to roll. Okay, point is off. Got a new come out roll. Eight is the point. Okay, so eight is the point. Okay, throw our five dollars on the field. Let's see if we can get a string of numbers here he said he won i think it was over 140 with one of my rolls he was playing on six okay so a six wins 14 loses five so a profit of nine i'm gonna just take nine dollars from here let's keep on rolling Aces, there we go. Okay, Aces wins double. Okay, so. And of course, I like, like I said, I think I said I started with a $200 bankroll. Yo 11. Yo 11 will win on the field. Okay. Nine, center field nine. There we go. That wins on the field. Five, that's a no field five. Okay. No filled five loses on the field, but I win 14. So I'm going to get paid 14 and lose five. All right, get my money back out on the field. Six. Okay, that was a six. Six pays 14 and loses five. So I'm going to take, so that's a $9 winning. I'm taking two and putting one back. Okay. Let's keep on rolling. Ten. Okay. All right. So that's a 10. Wins on the field. Six, another six. Okay, I wins 14, loses five, so a profit of nine. I'm just taking 10, putting back one. Seven out, all right, so that's better than hitting the point. Okay, seven out. Because we have $39 up here that we lose, 
and we have 39 on the don't pass. So we win 39, we lose 39, so it zeroes out. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to put this back in my rack. Those are off on the come out roll and we're ready to roll. All right, that's good for us right there. Craps three. That wins $39 on the don't pass. So I'm going to go ahead and take a 25, 30, 35, 40, and I'm going to put a dollar back. So that's a $39 win right there. Still on a come out roll. Do it again. Oh, shoot. I just gave it right back. Seven gives it back. Okay, so 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm going to give 40 and get my change back. So that was just a seesaw right there. Ten. Okay. All right. Point is ten. Put my $5 in the field. Okay, let's hit some numbers here. Nine, center field nine. It's a $5 win. Hard six, hard six. That's a $14 win minus a $5 loss, so a profit of $9. I'm taking 10, giving back one. That is an easy four. Pays easy money on the field. So $5 win. That is snake eyes, baby, snake eyes. That pays double. So we get that $10 win. Hey guys, again, back to back. Look at that. Another $10 win. Oops, I almost paid myself from myself. Eight. It's an easy eight. Wins 14, loses five, so profit of nine. Taking two, giving back one. Craps three pays five dollars on the field. And that is a nine center field nine. Okay, and that pays me $5 on the field also. I've always liked the Iron Cross because it's a lot of action. You're always winning something. I like this layout because if you go on a good streak, you actually start winning some money. There's an easy four. That pays $5. Shoot, I'll nickel and dime them to death. I don't care. Six. Easy six. That wins 14, loses five. So it's winnings of nine. There's my 10. Give back a dollar. Let's see how much time we've been going. I can't see it. Almost 13 minutes. We'll uh, just finish this hand out and call it good wherever it ends here. 
10. All right, it ended with us hitting the point. Darn it, that's what you don't want to hit too, is you'd rather seven out than hit the point. But that happens. So let's put, we get paid the $5 for hitting the 10 and we lose the 39. But let's go ahead and see how we ended up with this betting method. So this will take down and we'll just count it all up. I started with 200 that it would have been nice if I would have, uh, if I wouldn't, wouldn't have hit the, the point, but okay, here's 200 here. So this is our winnings. So we've got 25, 50, 55, 60, $63 is what we won in about 12 to 15 minutes. So that ain't too bad. Um, and I have fun with the Iron Cross. I don't know if you guys like the Iron Cross or not, but if you're just like someone that enjoys playing craps, that's a fun little system to play um, because it's so much action. You know, you're always either winning some money on every roll or you hit the point or the seven. But, you know, you're always seeing something happen, which is cool. Um, you know, when I play the 22 inside, if I'm hitting any of the four, or the 10, any craps numbers, you know, I'm just staying stagnant. You know, I'm not winning anything. So that's one of the reasons I do like the Iron Cross. And I actually like this layout, the money layout, um, because you can see some winnings. The way I normally lay out is just one unit. So, you know, it takes forever to win money. But I guess with this way, you could win money a little faster, but you can also lose it a little faster if you're not hitting any of the, you know, if you're hitting the seven too quick. But anyways, guys, I also want to thank Andy again for, you know, giving me this method, this strategy to try out. I encourage all of you guys to send me some rolls. And I don't care if you roll on a table, just get some dice. Even if you just do this, you know, give me 24 rolls, even if you're on your kitchen table. Or if you're on your craps table and you're practicing, you know, send me 22 of your practice rolls. I'll just forward to the rolls itself. You've seen how I do that. So we can make my videos a little shorter, but we can get data for these types of things right here that we're doing. And uh, people can look at them and see if it's a betting style that they might want to try. The other thing too is, is that, you know, the more betting methods, you know, um, you can make adjustments at the casinos. Like if someone's throwing a ton of sevens, you know, then you could pick something else that, you know, favor sevens thrown, like playing the don't pass. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys as subscribers. Anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time, man. You guys have a great day, night, whatever time it is for you. Take care.